Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange. This is episode four, titled The Dark Room. And this is part seven. If we go past to part seven, that'll be the longest episode so far, but we'll see. Um, we're going to try to get through this here. I don't really know where I need to go, so time to figure it out. I don't know if I need another piece to attach to that rope or what. Looks like I need to do something here. Do I need to take this hook? There we go. Okay, now I climb. No. Okay. Don't know what we're going to find up there. I'm a little bit concerned. Or I suppose not up there, but down there. In that hatch. I don't know if we're going to find a dead body. Pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Oh, are you kidding me? I need to hook this up to something heavier. Like the tractor. Darn it. How do I... Uh, how do I do this? So that rope goes to that. There. How am I gonna? Do I gotta go back down again? Help. Chloe, I need help. You're not helping. Oh <gasps> man. This tractor has paid its dues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's hooked up there. of info here. Can I use the pitchfork? No. Nope. Anything with padlock. So many haystacks, so few needles. I guess I the press cuts were things. just born bastards. Pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. If I leave, though, is that going to be. Is Chloe going to be dragged it with me? I don't know what to do. Okay, we're going to leave. Maybe there's something out here I can use. I almost feel like I need to get some mechanical advantage with that pulley system up there. I don't know what to do. that old motor.
Here's the other end of the rope. What do I do? Chloe, I need help. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. Sucks. I have to get through this monster padlock first. Where you looked up here? Ah, oh, the good old days. Can't do anything with the pitchfork. These milk jugs are useless. I literally have no idea what to do. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. This sucks. This sucks hard. I feel like there's going to be a whole episode's worth of wasted time because I don't know what to do. Watch us. Helpful. I can't get into Chloe's car. Am I actually gonna have to cheat? I don't wanna cheat. I don't wanna look it up. Ooh. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Because they're hiding a dead body in the cellar. Or that's where Rachel's gonna be. She's hanging out getting high. I don't know. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. I have no idea what I'm doing. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Maybe I just need to hear this dialogue again. What does she need to do? So that's attached. Okay. Chloe's gonna help us climb.
climb up here. I'm gonna try to pull on that rope, but she's gonna say something. Here's the other end of the rope. You're useless. Please be careful up there, Max. No. I will not be careful. Oh, jeez, I don't know. All right, you know what? I'm going to have to look it up. This is taking too long. Ah, uh, fail. All right, I'll be back. Well, obviously I will. I'm probably just going to cut this on before this. All right, so I'm an idiot. Okay. We've attached it down there. I need to be up here and get that generator, that motor thing back up here. So, now we've got a longer line ahead of us. Oh, for crying out loud, Max. Seriously? Ugh, so that didn't work at all. Duh. I'm just gonna be destructive, Max. Okay, let's attach. Now we pull. That loud. didn't work at all. Okay. All right. Okay, I think I got it. I'm an idiot, but I think I got it. So I attach the hook. I come over to here. Pull this down, which is a horrible idea. I gotta climb. Let me skip. Okay, now that the hook is attached, I rewind time to get the motor up here. I attach this motor, attach the rope to the motor. The hook is still attached downstairs. And now I push the motor off. Pull. Do not fall. Don't tell me what to do, Chloe. <laughs> Score. Max Giver strikes again. Okay. Huh. All right. Now on to the real meat and potatoes of this episode. What on earth is in this cellar? Let's do it, Chloe. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? Nope. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Well, then, to say that the press gods were, uh... Building bomb shelters or fallout shelters, right? It's not weird that they would have this, it's weird that it's 
on. This bunker is so surreal. Oh, man. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Including AOB. It looks like two, four, and five are worn out. Let's go with the obvious. You can do it, Max. Two, five, four. Oh, no, it didn't work. Five, two, four. Wrong code. Okay, so it's locked. Wait a minute. Some numbers oh, that piece of faded, paper. so I just have to get lucky. Five, four, two. Yes! Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Twist ending, David is a Prescott. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Or this is David's cellar. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Well, simple repairs, come on. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Jesus, I already hate this place. Whoa. One point three million. Wow. Talk about tortured. Oh, look at all this weird shit. <coughs> Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Ugh. Oh my god. No. So this is Ray Tucker. That's disgusting. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Something happening to his dad? Ugh. 
Rachel. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. We're not done searching the bunker, Chloe. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. It's not, don't worry. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. I want to keep Chloe waiting, but I also don't want to miss anything here. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Oh shit, that's Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? You saw the fresh tire treads outside. Of course he has. Somebody hikes their whiskey. Whoa. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. So who's using this fancy tripod? That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. How can she be dead? 
What kind of world does this? Who does this? That was the end. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her, so we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Okay, that's terrifying. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> All right, guys, it, I really thought that we were at the end there, um, but apparently not. So we got to finish it up, but that's going to have to come in another part. This is the end of part seven, I think. I think we're at part seven. Uh, and I'll see you guys in part eight.